the already from the commerce ministry uh, they are planning for industrial corridors we are making the road construction for port and rail connectivity is our responsibility and out of 14 coastal economic zone plan as a part of Sagarmala two coastal economic zones are in Andhra Pradesh one coastal economic zone is covering Srikulam to Vijayawada and the second is from Vijayawada to Nellore both are coming under Vishakapatnam Chennai industrial corridor and it's very important in our this 14 uh, uh, coastal economic zone we are expecting the investment of 8 lakh crores and out of which it will be directly employment for 40 lakh people and indirectly employment for 60 lakh people total 1 crore people will get the employment in this Sagarmala the highway connectivity to nodes in this coastal economic zone will be provided and the rail connectivity and highway connectivity is our responsibility we have already formed a port rail connectivity corporation we have started the rail work and our planning is before to end of this our five years we will at least start the railway work more than one lakh crores the land power and other infrastructure is responsible for the state government and this uh, coastal economic zone will be developed at a cost of 10,000 per zone. At least in Andhra Pradesh, we are expecting the investment of 20,000 crore for this coastal economic zone. Lot of detail is given by my colleague to you. And total infrastructure investment will be around rupees 1 lakh crores. Uh, it's a uh, create job opportunities. We need the economy where we are going to increase the employment potential. The growth rate is very important. Under the leadership of our Prime Minister, our ambition for the growth rate is double digit. And without this coastal economic zone and port led development, we cannot achieve our goal. In the whole world, for any developed country, you just go and verify the case. The most important thing is the port led development. It is going to reduce the cost. And that is one of the reason is we have decided to give highest priority for waterways. We have already taken decision to make waterways in India our 111 rivers. We are going to convert into waterways and uh, it's a great pleasure and pride for me today. The most important national waterway in Andhra Pradesh, waterway 4, it is Bankingham Canal waterways and we have already taken all the decisions tender is completed and within a month because i am busy in the election after uh, punjab and up election i will come to andhra pradesh and we will start the work of this bunkingham canal that is the project of with the presence of honorable chief minister because only because of his persuasion it is a joint venture project of andhra pradesh government and uh, bharat sarkar so we will immediately start it the project cost is 2,000 crore. The phase 1 is Muktala to Vijayawada in Krishna River, 82 km. Phase 2 is Vijayawada to Kakinada, Eluru Canal and Kakinada Canal. Rajamundi to Polavaram Strait of Godavari, 233 km, 233 km. And phase 3 is Kamur Canal, Bankingham Canal and balance stretches of Krishna and Godavari rivers come to 573 km. The MO is signed with the government of Andhra Pradesh for development of is this four national waterways in Andhra Pradesh on 14 April 2016. Agreement for formation of ACV signed between government of Andhra Pradesh and inland waterways. But now we have taken a decision that we are making a subsidiary company in Vizag port and we will merge this company into that. And Vizag port's profit are there. Our idea is to use that profit for the development of Bankingham Canal. Honorable Chief Minister, we have turnover of 5,000 crores in dollar. In our two projects, two ports, we have taken loan in the dollars. In Mumbai, JNPT, we will get 3,000 crore with the interest of 2.25. We don't need to hedge. And now in uh, Tamil Nadu, in one project, we have taken the loan of uh, to 1,500 crore with only 2% interest. 
So here we will try to make that on the we will take the loan in dollars because the internal rate of return is very important. So we will increase the loan in dollar and use it for this banking ham canal project which is of cost of 2000 crore. At the same time we will also do one thing we will make the uh, dressing on annuity basis where we will give the payment in the five years then it will be easy for us to start all the waterways at the same time and uh, our dressing corporation will definitely take initiative in it even we will give also to the private entrepreneur also and we will encourage them and regarding the floating jetties water ports we will finance you 100% grant in aid for that and we will make it the land acquisition belongs to state government that is the contribution from your side so this is one of the dream projects which is very important connecting to andhra pradesh tamil nadu chhattisgarh and really it is a very important i feel that it is, it will be a game changer regarding the national highway the most important thing is related to the express highway with amravati to anantapur and here already i promised today i discussed with honorable chief minister and uh, we will the land acquisition process is started the alignment is fixed by the state government and we will try as early as possible to start this project regarding uh, chief minister is suggesting me the project of uh, uh, raipur to vizag and he, there is some idea in his mind that project is very important for the development of andhra pradesh and at the same time is for uh, chatisgarh Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, because it is going to reduce the uh, length also. I don't have too much idea about it, but 750 kilometers total rail length, road length is there, and the chief minister is suggesting me it will be only with the 500 kilometers, and he is suggesting me to making railway connectivity to side to the highway. We will think about it, and I am promising him that we will work on it, and we will definitely. giving priority to connectivity between raipur and vizag this will be a game changer the project cost will be 5000 crore but we will definitely we will do it regarding andhra pradesh the road connectivity is very important in the country also it is very important i always remember the famous sentence of american president john kennedy american roads are not good because america is rich but america is rich because american roads are good the prosperity is coming from the road so i am again promising to honorable chief minister and the people of andhra pradesh that before end of our five years of this government we will at least give sanction and start the work more than 1 lakh crores to andhra pradesh the way in which under the leadership visionary leadership of chandra babu the way in which the andhra pradesh is progressing it is really a great satisfaction for the uh, federal government because the prime minister and our government is very much committed for the progress and development and without the visionary approach of the state government for the development is very important and it is one of the important thing which i appreciate the vision of honorable chief minister is really very important i always say that you can donate i but you cannot donate vision lack of vision is a big problem so here is a appropriate leadership having a appropriate vision for the development and not only for the urban area but for the agriculture also so today the way in which the andhra pradesh is developing i am confident they will come it will be one of the most developed state in the country we will cooperate we will support and we will contribute for development in andhra pradesh with the initiative of chandra babu ji i will promise them that all our federal government will support you and regarding my department i am always positive whenever you suggest me anything i always try to do it once again i am giving my all best wishes to the people of andhra pradesh and andhra pradesh government and particularly the chief minister of andhra pradesh thank you very much